Awesome. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us for today's Live Your Life session. I'm so excited to bring you boosting joy, just the power of positive psychology. And I am even more excited to bring back one of our most awesome facilitator, Miss Jenna Pascal. So Jenna, I'm going to hand it all over to you so you could take it away. Oh, thank you so much, Sandrine and Jackie and Nancy for organizing this event. I'm really excited to be here and I love this group too. You're one of my favorite clients. I just love, <laughs> love all of you. Um, so today's, today's workshop is called, or webinar is called Boosting Joy, the Power of Positive Psychology. And again, my name is Jenna Pasquale and I am here in Maui, Hawaii. So hello everyone from Maui. <laughs> And just to let you know, my website is laughwithjenna.com and you can also find me on Instagram at Jenna Pasquale. So before we begin the session, um, a huge part of positive psychology is gratitude. And so I'd like to start today's session by just going around the group and just sharing what it is that we're grateful for today. And if you do have trouble figuring out what you're grateful for today, um, another thing that can help boost positive but, uh, positive feelings is what are you excited for this week? So you can answer one or, or both and we'll just go around the group and I can start us off. So what am I grateful for today? I am grateful for having the opportunity to work remotely so that I could live in Maui. <laughs> and I am excited. I'm having, I'm having a goddess circle with my friends on Saturday, so that's what I'm excited for. <laughs> Does anyone want to go next? And maybe we can popcorn to the next person. I'll go. I am excited for, um, I just want to say like opportunities and family. Um, today I've been shuttling everyone around plus working. So just being able to do that, I'm just super thankful for. <laughs> And I'm going to pass it on to Nancy. Yes, I had a lot to be grateful for, but uh, I'm really grateful for living now here in Utah. It's such a gorgeous place to live. So much beautiful nature, so much wilderness, uh, you know, desert, mountains. So I love that. And I also love the fact that I'm closer to my daughter uh, now and I celebrated my birthday on the weekend. They gave me a super duper two day bang, 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 bang activities, made me dinner, took me here, took me there, took me swimming. You know, it was just so much fun. So I'm really grateful for all of that. Happy belated birthday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To, you know, getting up there, but you know, so I love that. And what am I looking forward to? I think we're going to go to a beautiful reservoir. Uh, this weekend, they're going to take me someplace else. <laughs> I will pass it to, let's see, J Jackie, I'll test you. All right. Uh, well, I'm grateful just for waking up this morning. Um, you know, so many people didn't. So I'm very grateful for that. Um, grateful for my health, my strength. Um, grateful for new opportunities that has just came my way. Um, I'm looking forward for this weekend. My cousin is doing a concert. So going out to show her support, to show support for her. And um, yeah, just um, happy to be here. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's nice. Do you want to pass it on to someone else, Jackie? Let's see, um, Josephine. Welcome, Josephine. We're just going around sharing what we're grateful for and or what are you excited for this week? Not too sure she can come off mute. And I see John is on, but he, his audio is not um, enabled. But I am excited, I forgot to add what I was excited for, is that I am super excited to go on vacation, which starts tomorrow, so goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a short vacation, but one um, needed as well. Hey, Josephine, oh, we thought we had you back for a second. We were just going around. 
around to say what are we grateful for today and if we you know are excited for anything um, i'm grateful to be waking up this morning all right us too thank you josephine i hope you and the family are well That's yes right. we are we want you to be our fifth fight. awesome so, as you can see, you know, even by simply by sharing our gratitude in a group or sharing what we're excited for for the week, it boosts the joy and positivity instantly just hearing people talk about what they're grateful for. So, I highly encourage um, I highly encourage you, especially in the work environment, if you can, if you have the time to maybe start each meeting with what you're grateful for, or what you're excited for in the week. Um, I used to work at a meditation tech company, and before we started every meeting, we would start, we would dedicate one minute to just go around the room quickly and just say what we're grateful for. So it doesn't even have to take, you know, a whole like five or ten minutes out of the meeting. You could just dedicate one, one, one minute to that. All right. So the power, the positive power of gratitude, we all just experienced that. And here's a quote by Amy Collette, who is the author of The Gratitude Connection. Gratitude is a powerful catalyst for happiness. It's the spark that lights a fire of joy in your soul. So hopefully you felt that, that spark in your soul when we went around and shared what we were grateful for today. And... So this is me, just want to share a little bit about who I am for those that I haven't met yet. Again, for those that just joined, my name is Jenna Pasquale, and I am a certified laughter yoga teacher. I'm also a regular yoga teacher, and I'm a life coach. And my journey really began, well, my like personal development, spiritual journey really began when my mother passed away from cancer. So the, the photo on the left is one of the last photos we took together. This was right before she got diagnosed. And I was uh, 14 when she got di diagnosed and she passed away when I was 15. And that really, um, it brought a lot of anxiety and depression in my life and I really didn't know what to do with those feelings. And I, I ended up taking a, a solo trip to Latin America and I discovered yoga. So in the middle here is a photo from my yoga teacher training. And that's what really set me on my journey to helping other people reduce their stress and boost their joy. And after I completed my 200 hour yoga teacher training, I discovered laughter yoga, which is a huge part of what I do today. I love helping companies and employees reduce their stress. Um, and part of that reason, too, is because I used to work in tech. I spent about 10 years working in the tech industry. And while I was working at Facebook, I was actually diagnosed with repetitive stress syndrome. So I really focus on reducing stress and boosting joy. And here is on the right here, we have a picture of me and Maui. So I, I just moved here seven months ago, and I'm super excited because um, a huge part of of staying positive is also creating an environment for yourself where you feel at your best. And for me, I love being in tropical environments. All right. And I know that I've taught laughter yoga for this group before. And if you're um, new to it, I just want to share a little bit about what laughter yoga is. So with laughter yoga, it's based on scientific evidence that shows that our bodies can't tell the difference between real and simulated laughter. And studies also show that we need at least 10 to 15 minutes of sustained laughter a day to reap health benefits. So what that means is it's very, very different from using jokes, comedy, or humor, because if we... If we watch a, a sitcom or go to a stand-up comedy show, we are activating the left side of our brain. And that left side of our brain is our analytical side. And that's the side that helps us um, figure out or decipher if a joke is funny or not. So it, that's actually not considered sustained laughter. Sustained laughter is when we laugh for no reason and it's, it's a, at a sustained pace. So when we watch a TV show, you know, there's a joke, and then we have to process, and then we might laugh, and then, you know, a few minutes might pass, and then another joke will come up, and then we have to decide again, is this funny? So that is not considered sustained laughter, 
And so with laughter yoga, it is sustained because we're constantly laughing and we have that sustained laughter. And then that's what really activates the right side of our brain, which is the creative side. And that's the side that also helps us reduce stress and boost joy. It can also help boost immunity, which is really, really important right now with COVID going around. And it also helps uh, spark creativity and innovation. And it really helps the blood flow and oxygen um, throughout your body. So there's so many health benefits to laughter. And with laughter yoga, there are no yoga poses involved. There's no yoga mats. You don't even have to put on workout clothes. So it's really accessible to anyone. And again, it's prolonged voluntary laughter. It does not use jokes, comedy, or humor. Um, it has to do a lot with playfulness, yogic breathing, and deep belly laughs. And welcome to all of you that just joined. We are about to do a little bit of laughter yoga, so you're just in time. <laughs> All right, so we're going to practice a few laughter exercises right now. And I am going to stop sharing my screen so that you can see me a little bit bigger here. All right, so with laughter yoga, again, we are simply going to laugh. We're going to activate that right side of our brain. And I'm going to start us off with our finger laughter because you know a lot of us are typing all day or we're on our cell phones all day so we really want to stretch our fingers use those finger muscles and just so you know that we have acupressure points in our finger beds so go ahead and press down on each one that's already stimulating and activating all the organs in our body and what we're going to do is we're going to co coordinate our laughter with our movement and it, it's going to look like this ho ho ha 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 ho Ho, ha, 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 all right? So I invite you to join, and I also encourage you to turn your camera on if that's available, and you can also unmute yourself because a huge part of laughter yoga is not only laughing yourself, but also hearing each other's laugh, okay? And I also, since we're on Zoom, it's nice to look in the camera too. All right, here we go, all together. Ready? Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. very good very good yay so in laughter yoga we always um to signal that we're stop stopping an exercise and beginning another one we clap our hands and we, when we clap we actually clap like this not like this because even when you clap like this right on top of each other that is, um, mute. <laughs> that's that's how you also activate the organs in your in your body so when you clap go like this and then when we say very good very good yay just by looking up and putting your arms up in the air that's a physiological it has a physiological effect on your body that helps boost the positivity as well so there are health benefits to doing this it's not just you know just just an act but here we go and i want you all to join me in doing this as well ready ready very good very good yay one more time very good very good yay all right we're gonna do another laughter exercise and this one's really good for the shoulders and the back it'll look like this ho ho ha ha <laughs> and really roll the shoulders back all right so again go ahead and unmute yourselves here we go. Ready? One, two, three, go. Ho, ho, ha, 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 very good. Very good. Very good. Yay. Yay. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Yay. Yay. All right, we're going to do one more laughter exercise. And this one is called zipper laughter. 
So what we're gonna so do is we're gonna we're gonna zip our lips and then we're gonna unzip our lips with laughter. <laughs> All right, so all together, ready? Zoop. <laughs> very good, very good, yay! Very good, very good, yay! Yay, thank you all for participating in that laughter yoga. Does anyone want to share how they feel or anything that came up for them as they were practicing these laughter exercises, especially if it's your first time? How was that experience for you? Oh, that's true. Would anyone like to share? No I feel questions. like a lot of energy now. <laughs> here, well, here, everywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so, oh, yes, Jackie. No, I would have to agree with Nancy. I yeah. Nancy, yeah. It's like, like, it's like your energy feels just like, I feel like a little puffing out here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that energy that we have within us, that positive energy, you know, it trickles out to all of those around us too. So I also encourage you to spread that joy wherever you go. All right, so I'm gonna go back to sharing my screen. Welcome to those that just joined. All right, so positive psychology. So if you're new to positive psychology, it was founded in 1998 by Martin Seligman and he's known as the father of positive psychology. And so positive psychology is the science behind how individuals and groups flourish and thrive. And it's also the study of positive subjective experience and positive individual traits to improve the quality of life. And I also like to say that positive psychology is all about focusing on what's going well in your life rather than focusing on what's not going well. So we are definitely going to focus on what's, what's going well and what is working. So just so you know, about 50% of your happiness is genetic, which can sound a little scary because it's like, oh no, 50% is already in place. But the positive side of it is 50% of it is up to you. So that's amazing, right? You have complete control over the other 50%. <laughs> and so this leads us to neuroplasticity. So with neuroplasticity, this pretty much just means that the brain can continue to grow and develop new neural pathways and connections well into adulthood. So a lot of people think, you know, at a certain age, you, your brain just stops um, growing and developing new things, but that is not true. Science shows that your brain is capable of developing these new neural pathways, learning new things um, at any age. So don't think that you know, at a certain point, you stop learning and growing. And so Seligman, the, the father of positive psychology, he came up with this happiness formula. And it's H equals S plus C plus V. And H is the enduring level of happiness. S is your set range. C is the circumstances. And V is voluntary control. And I will go into each of these individually. So E, the enduring level of happiness. So this pretty much just means momentary happiness versus lasting happiness. So the enduring level of happiness is that lasting happiness. And enduring happiness, the satisfaction you will feel looking back over a life well lived. So in order to look back and feel satisfied and happy about the life that you're living, you also have to figure out what you want in life. So it's really important to get clear on what you want in life. And your set range. So your set range is, so we learned earlier that 50% of your happiness is genetic. And the happiness set point refers to your natural effect. And it pretty much is, you know, the optimism versus the pessimism. So really focus on the, the glass half full versus the glass half empty. And then the C is circumstances. 
So we want to raise your level of happiness by changing the external circumstances in your life. So for example, I mentioned earlier that um, I moved to Maui seven months ago. And part of the reason why I moved here is because I knew that I wanted to live in a tropical place. I, I thrive more in warm weather. I don't do too well when, I, when I'm somewhere cold. I, I tend to just stay indoors and don't exercise. <laughs> it just it really lowers my mood. So I took that upon myself and I consciously made a choice to move to Maui to help me boost my joy and, and positivity. And then just to also let you know that there, I know and there are factors beyond your control. So I know that there are some things that you cannot control in life and I just want to acknowledge that. And I also want you to acknowledge that. So in other words, I don't want you to feel guilty or I don't want you to shame yourself or I don't want you to feel like like you have to do something because there are actually some factors in life that are beyond your control. So just giving yourself more compassion in those circumstances. And then voluntary variables account for about 40% of your happiness. So this is all about um, the, the optimism. So positive emotions about the past. So again, you have the power to choose how you want to feel about anything that has happened in your life. Okay, so especially when it comes to the past, it really depends on how you view anything in life. So with positive emotions about the past, these can be, you know, just asking yourself, were you satisfied? Were you content? The fulfillment, the serenity. And again, you get to choose how you feel about emotions in the past. And then also positive emotions about the future. What are you looking forward to? Do you feel hopeful? Do you have faith? Do you have trust? So just really, really staying positive about the future. And then also positive emotions about the present. So again, you get to choose in every single moment, moment of your life, you get to choose how you feel. So are you going to choose joy and ecstasy and pleasure and flow today? Or are you going to choose anger and sadness and all of that? And I know there's also um, a thing called toxic positivity, which I'm also um, aware of. And I also just want to address that as well. And I, I highly encourage you to feel all of your emotions. You know, it's really important to feel and acknowledge all of them. I also believe that no emotion is greater or better than the other. Um, if you have not watched um, Inside Out, I highly recommend that movie. That's the movie that really made me appreciate emotions like sadness and anger. Um, there's a character named Joy, and I loved her so much. Um, but then you start to see all the other characters, all the other emotions, and you get to realize like all of them have benefits. But in terms of increasing your joy and positivity in your life, it is important to just remember you have the power to choose how you want to feel. And if you want to feel sad one day, that's perfectly fine. If you want to feel angry, that's fine too. But know that you always have the power to change it. So if you no longer want to feel sad, you have the power to choose joy as well. All right, so visualization, we talked about circumstances and, you know, really visualizing how you want your life to be. So I want to take time right now to do a visualization exercise. And I want you to think about your, what, you, what you want your dream like to look like and also feel like. So it's not only important to like, write down what you want your dream life to look like, but really tap into what that feeling is. What would it feel like if you had your dream job or what would it feel like if you lived in your dream location or what would it look like if you had that dream partner or dog or cat or kids or what would it feel like to have, you know, an amazing group of friends or what would it feel like to finish that creative project that you're working on. So really, really focus on the feeling that you get when you when you envision um, what your dream life is. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're actually going to do this exercise together. So what I want you to do is I want you to stand up. So we're all going to stand up if you're not already standing. And you are going to imagine that there is a, ma a magic wand. So what we're going to do is we are going to we're going to if, if you feel safe and remember to safety first, but I'm going to ask you to close your eyes. And then we're going to spin clockwise three times. 
And I'm asking you to spin clockwise three times to represent one year of life. So you can do it as slow as you can because I don't want you <laughs> to fall or hurt yourselves. Um, so just close your eyes and, and we're all gonna spin clockwise three times. All right, so here we go. Ready, one, two, three, go. Spinning, 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 spinning. That's year one. Spinning, 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 spinning. Year two. Spinning, 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 spinning. Woo, year three. All right, go ahead and open your eyes. I am tapping you with a magic wand, and I want you to speak out loud what all your dreams are and what have ha what has happened to you in the past three years. So a prompt for this is imagine that your best friend is sitting in front of you and you haven't talked to this best friend in three years. So I want you to give all your life updates, everything that has happened in the past three years to your best friend. And you can keep yourself on mute um, so that we're not all talking on top of each other, but just pretend like your best friend is sitting in front of you. All right. So I'll give you a few Moments to just share what has happened in your life in the past three years. All right, so you can wrap it up if you're not done talking to your best friend. But hopefully that that helped you just uh, visualize what you actually want, you know, and then for yourself for the next three years. And I know for some people this might be a challenging um, exercise and that's fine too. You know, if you want to take time later today or in the future on, on what uh, you want your dream life to look like or what you want the next three years to look like, um, go ahead and do that for yourself at your own time. All right. Does anyone want to share anything? Um, so a huge part of helping dreams come true is actually sharing it with others because the more you share it with others, the more that they get excited for you and the more that their energy will go towards, you know, helping you achieve your dreams too. And maybe if you share your dream, there's someone out there who could actually help you with the next step in, in getting there. So I also just want to see if anyone has any dreams that they want to share or um, even just share how that experience was for you. Well, I will say the experience is, it was refreshing. Uh, it's uh, some things that I've already accomplished. So I guess to add on to three years from now uh, is to do my trip to Hawaii. Woohoo! <laughs> Which island? I, island? Um, you know what? I, I don't even care. Just... <laughs> You know, just, <laughs> well, you uh, have a connection maybe, now. <laughs> Honolulu or Maui, you know, and let you know I'm 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 there. Um, <laughs> let's see, uh, London. I plan to do uh, London, Italy, Paris. So as things are opening up, because I was supposed to be going to London last year. Mm -hmm. um, so as things open up, um, in this past three years, I was like, 
I can't even realize as much stuff that I've accomplished this last three years. I'm a homeowner now. <gasps> Congratulations! <laughs> Woo! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just purchased a brand new car like two months ago. What? A home and a car? <laughs> All right, everyone, we gotta celebrate Jackie right now. That's amazing! <laughs> Woo! So I'm hoping to like get the next. I was really hoping to, to to accomplish these things with a partner, but that hasn't happened. So hopefully. The next three years, someone will knock on my door and be lost. And you know, <laughs> <laughs> <so yeah. laughs> thank you for sharing, Jackie. <laughs> I know these shares can also be very vulnerable. So thank you for sharing. Did anyone else want to share? <laughs> or does anyone have anything that they're, they want to celebrate with the group? Because that's a huge part of positive psychology as well is, you know, Jackie just bought you know, he's, he's a homeowner now. That's amazing. And he bought a new car. And sometimes we don't get we don't get to take time out of our day or, you know, sometimes sometimes we feel um, like we, we want to be humble about it and we don't share, you know, these mini celebrations. So, you know, I just want you to really take time out of your day too to, you know, be able to confidently share your celebrations with others, because that's really important in helping boost boost your mood, boost joy. All right, so if no one else has anything to share, no one else, all right, we will continue on with the slides. All right, so thank you for doing that visualization technique with me. All right, so now I'm gonna um, share other ways to reduce stress and boost joy. So again, positive psychology is all about what's going well and um, what's, yeah, what's going well in your life. And, and we kind of just did that, you know, with Jackie, we celebrated what's going well for him. You know, he, he pretty much said that he, you know, has accomplished a lot of things that he's already dream, dreamed about. And, you know, being a homeowner and having a car, that's amazing. And so another thing about positive psychology is also focusing on your character strengths. Has anyone here heard of character strengths? Okay, so um, there's a, there's, um, character strengths are strengths that each human is innately born with that, um, that helps them in their life. And it's very, very different from Strengths Finder. So there is a New York Times best-selling book called Strengths Finder 2.0. You might have heard of that one. And a lot of employers encourage their employees to take this Strengths Finder test. Um, but what I've learned in my coaching training is that Strengths Finder, they actually they find the strengths within a person that help them within a team environment. And you know that there's there's definitely purpose in that. But with character strengths, character strengths are actually what unique strengths are in that individual that can actually help them as an individual. So it really focuses on the person you know, himself or herself or, you know, themselves, um, rather than in a group environment or a team environment. So we don't have time to do this as a group today, but I, I do encourage you to write this website down. It's called viacharacter.org, and it's a free assessment that you can take online, and it can help you identify your top five character strengths. And as part of my coaching business, I help um, clients focus on their top five strengths and I help them apply these five strengths every single day. So studies have shown that if you apply your top five strengths in different ways every single day, that can also help you um, boost your joy and lead a more fulfilling life. So again, write that down if you can, viacharacter.org. And it's like a free 12 minute assessment. All right. So also look for examples of strength, resilience, and success in your life to build confidence for the future. So whenever you're feeling down or you feel like, you know, you can't get, you can't do any, or, you know, you're, you're just, you have no motivation or you don't believe in yourself, just think about the past and think of examples of when you were strong or when you were resilient and when you were successful. And when you think about those happy times in your past and all the success that you have, you have built in your life, that helps build confidence for the future. 
And so here are other wellness modalities. And I know this list might seem like, you know, you've, you've heard it before, but reiteration is really important. And these little reminders are really important as well. So I just want to go, I want to take time to go through each of them. So as we learned, if you were here for the beginning of, of the session, we did a lot of laughter, laughter yoga. Um, so just knowing that, you know, our bodies can't tell the difference between simulated laughter and real laughter. And it's really important to just laugh. So even taking time out of your day to, you know, just do something like this. <laughs> like that can help your overall wellness. Um, physical exercise, you know, it's really important to um, move your body and for me I absolutely hate gyms I hate running I hate gyms um, but what I do love is I love taking casual walks around around my neighborhood you know I love walking on the beach so you know you could make it just make it work for you you know and you know yourself more than anyone out there so if you know that you love the gym then go to the gym but if you know that you hate running don't run. Try to find something else that makes you happy. It's all about, you know, finding what brings you joy. And again, only you know what brings you joy. So just taking time out of your day to move your body. I also love to dance. And so, you know, I simply just, you know, just pick one song, like a three or four minute song, get your body moving. That's all it takes to boost your mood, you know, in a short one song dance party, solo dance party, you can really boost your mood. Healthy diet, so you know, a lot of studies now are showing that our diet is really correlated with our mental health. So really taking care of your gut, your gut health, um, eating healthy, and again, you know, we've heard this all before, diet and exercise, diet and exercise, but you know, it really is tied to our mental health. So really pay attention to what you're putting into your body, um, eat as much um, organically, uh, organic produce as possible, fresh food, you know, nothing that's pre-packaged, um, nothing that's um, preserved, any of that stuff. You know, you really want to eat fresh food. And then music, you know, we talked about dancing with our favorite songs earlier. Simply just listening to your favorite songs can also boost your mood. Uh, visual arts, you know, seeing pretty things, um, that's also that can also help boost your mood. Natural sunlight. So a lot of people forget about this, especially if you're working from home. I know um, I visited my dad in California a few weeks ago, and he always keeps the blinds down. And, you know, I was wondering about that. So I helped him, like, open the blinds, let the natural sunlight in, and that actually just instantly boosts your mood. You know, the, the sun provides a lot of energy to us. That is natural energy. So we want to absorb as much natural sunlight as possible. And you can even just go outside as well. Just go outside and for like one minute, really focus on feeling the sunlight on your body. And that can really help energize and boost your mood as well. And then connection to nature. You know, and I, I know a lot of us live in cities and we can't get to a park or a beach. Um, but Connection to nature can be something as, as, as simple as, you know, touching a plant. You know, you might have plants or flowers in your house. You know, you could just touch it, feel that leaf, feel that flower. Um, another connection to nature that's super simple is through eating. So, you know, as we're eating our fruits and vegetables, that is a form of connecting to nature. So just being very mindful every time you put food in your mouth, that is a form of connecting to nature. All right, and then human connection. Human connection is so important, especially since we're working from home. You know, a lot of us, sometimes we dread being on Zoom. We dread all these meetings, but it really helps boost our mood. You know, it helps um, community and teamwork really matters. You know, showing up not only for yourself, but for each other in these meetings. So, you know, connection to others, it, it, it creates these positive experiences. It provides a foundation to engage in frequent positive interaction, and it broadens and it builds our evolutionary capacity. So, you know, next time you, you feel that dread of a, of a Zoom meeting, just think about the positive aspects that come from showing up onto Zoom. You get to see your coworkers' beautiful faces. And, you know, you get to share that human interaction. A lot of people, you know, 
you know, be grateful that our eyes, you know, we have the, the gift of sight and we have the gift of hearing and we have the gift of speaking. So just being really grateful for all the senses that we have and um, for the internet, you know, we wouldn't be able to have human connection while we're working from home if we didn't um, have Zoom. So that's just another way to, to think about Zoom meetings <laughs> next time you feel like you're, you're dreading it. All right, another um, thing that you can do to boost your mood is writing. So uh, there's, a, there's a thing called a three-day writing exercise. And what this is, is you're going to write for 20 minutes for three days in a row. And what you're going to write about is if everything in your life went well, what would your life look like? So I, you know, there's no required homework, but um, this is just a suggestion. If you want to try this three-day writing exercise out, you can do that. Another form that you could do is a daily gratitude journal. And um, I also know that I, I don't want to make your lives harder. I don't want it to feel like a chore. Um, to be honest, I don't even write a gratitude journal every day. But what I do do and what works for me is when I wake up in the morning while I'm still lying in bed, I just list off three things that I'm grateful for. So, you know, just, just by simply just saying it out loud or thinking it in your mind, just thinking about what you're grat grateful for, that can help boost your mood. And then thank you notes. Thank you notes are so fun. They're not only fun to write because you, you, you feel so much gratitude and love when you write thank you notes to other people, but you're also boosting the joy for the recipient. So I highly encourage you to write thank you notes as much as you can. And it doesn't even have to be a full like letter, you know, just a quick one liner um, will do. So again, don't make it hard for yourself. It doesn't need to be a chore. You can, and snail mail, especially with COVID, snail mail is really fun to receive. So you might want to consider mailing someone something in the mail. And another way to reduce your stress and boost your mood is sleep and meditation. So these are forms of experiencing rest. And a lot of people think that meditating is, you know, sitting cross-legged and sitting in silence. But I want to expand your thinking here. Meditation is simply just awareness and it's simply just being aware of your breath. So even just closing your eyes and just taking one deep breath. <sighs> Like that is a form of meditation. When you walk outside, just being very aware of every footstep that you're taking, that is a form of meditation. If you are washing your dishes, you know, mindfully, that is a form of meditation. When you are cooking, cooking with love and intention, that is a form of meditation. So just really being aware of your breath every time you do something, just putting all your love and energy into everything you do, that is meditation. And again, you know yourself more than anyone. And so just figuring out how many hours of sleep is optimal for, for your body. Try to get that every day. And so my secret to my secret ingredient for happiness is I like this acronym called GIGGLE. And it's uh, GIGGLE is the G. The first G is gratitude, you know, just um, just always, always, always being grateful for what's going well in your life and for things that you do have rather than focusing on what you don't have. Um, honoring your inner child. So as adults, we forget, you know, there's that little child in us that still wants to play and have fun and that needs to be nurtured. So um, a part of, you know, the a, a part of boosting joy and feeling positive is also just honoring that inner child within us. And then gibberish. So gibberish is really fun. If you've never done gibberish before, this is what it sounds like. Um, it really activates the right side of the brain, but it's it's basically talking in gibberish. And I do this gibberish practice, you know, um, a few times a day, and it really just it boosts my mood just because it's so silly. And um, the point of it is to not use the left side of the brain, so it really activates the right side. Get moving, you know. I talked about dancing earlier. I love to dance. Laughing, that's another one that we did earlier, and just to really Really enjoy you know be present in the moment and enjoying what is currently in front of you so that's my secret ingredient to joy and for all of you that attended today thank you so much for attending for all of you that are listening to the recording thank you for listening um, again my name is Jenna Pasquale I'm a life coach 
I'm a laughter yoga teacher and a yoga teacher, and I love people. I love helping people boost joy and positivity in their lives. And I'd love to offer each of you a free 30-minute coaching session. You can just go to my website. It's laughwithjenna.com, and there's a coaching tab where you can schedule a free coaching session with me. Um, and then if you're on Instagram and would love to connect, my Instagram handle is at Jenna Pasquale. And I have a lot of laughter yoga videos on there. And if you'd like to email me, my email is jennapasquale.com. So thank you so much. I know you could be doing anything in the world right now. And you are here or you are listening right now. And thank you, Jackie. Thank you, Sandrine. <laughs> thank you, Nancy. Thank you <laughs> so much, Jenna. Thank you uh, again for this very exciting and informative. And it is very important uh, for laughter. I mean, laughter, I mean, you heard that when you were a kid, you know, laughter makes the heart grows fonder. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I mean, it's, it's very important to incorporate that in our daily activity, especially with everything that is going on with things that are going on with social media, you know, and st stuff of that nature. So it's always, and as you said, you know, um, as always, we, we have 50% uh, that we can control um, to choose, choose to be happy, you know, um, you know, just choose to be happy. I mean, why not? You know? <laughs> and, uh, and like you said, you know, we control our own destiny, you know, so and I want to thank you again. I want to thank everyone uh, that tuned in today. Um, also, uh, you guys look out for text. We have a busy Zoom event for you members this month. Uh, next week on the 20th, we will be showing Madam CJ Walker. So tune in for that. That's going to start at 5 p.m. It's going to be a part one, part two. It's uh, different parts of it. And again, um, and like I said, you know, Hey, Maui might be the one that I choose. Uh, I'm so jealous. My good friend um, is in Hawaii. Uh, they're in Hawaii right now. So, and my cousins, they went to Hawaii maybe about three months ago. So uh -huh. I'm definitely going to have to check it out. It looks yes. so nice and refreshing. Uh, Feel free to reach out to me. I can give you recommendations. Would love to see you in person. <laughs> of course, of course, of course, definitely. That is in the works. That definitely is in the works trying to decide if it's going to be in the works of this year it might end up being this year because i do need to take another trip <laughs> <laughs> so um again thank everyone i want to thank nancy for introducing us to you and um the weekend is coming up so i want everyone to be safe out there stay hydrated have fun live life love hug someone hug your animal you know, say hi to a new person, meet a new friend. Thank you again. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thank you, bro. Thank you. You're welcome.